Hello everyone, I am Shadha Shara and welcome to Shadha Learning Hub. Today's session, we are going to learn inner classes in Java programming language. Inner class. Inner class means a class declared inside of the class that is called inner class. Now, sometimes we can declare a class inside another class. Such type of classes are called inner classes. If you see this diagram, it's 1995 May 23rd JDK 1.0 is released. In that situation, that is a performance is, is very low and GUI has some GUI bugs also available. After three months, JDK 1.1 released. In that release, JIT compiler 0.11% and those guys are handling the event handling also. Here, some people introduced inner classes in 1.1 version as a part of event handling to resolve the GUI bugs. But because of powerful future and the benefits of inner classes, slowly the programmer starts using the regular coding also. Without existing one type of objects, if there is no chance of existing another type of objects, then we should go for inner classes. For example, without existing the university object, there is no class of existing department object. Hence, we have to define department class inside the university, university class. Now, I can show how it is. If you see this example, If you see this example, this is a department class. This is the, sorry, this is the university class and inside university, there is a department. This is the department class. Without existing the university, if university is not there, then definitely department also not there. If you, without existing university object, there is no chance of existing the department object. Hence, we have to define the department class inside the university class. If you see this one, this is the university class, this is the department class. Without university, there is no department. That's why this is the outer class, university is the outer class and department is the inner class. Now, I can give the one more example. Without existing the bank object, there is no chance of existing account object. Hence, we have to define the account class inside the bank class. If you see this one, I am declaring the two classes. This is the bank class and inside I am declaring one more class. This is the account class. Without bank, there is no account. That's why bank is the outer class and account is the inner class. I can show one more example. Without existing the map object, there is no chance of existing the entry object. Hence, every entry interface is defined inside the map interface. Already, I am discussed in the collections. Here, map is a interface. In this map interface, one entry interface is there in, inside of the map. Each key value and pair is a one entry. If the map is there, inside the entry is there. Without map, there is no entry. Entry interface. The relationship between outer class and inner class is a not easy relationship. The relation between outer class and inner class is not easy relationship. And it has a, it has a relationship. There is a two relationships are available in Java programming. One is the easy relationship and another one is has a relationship. The inner class and outer class concept is applicable has a relationship. Based on the purpose and the position of declarations, all inner classes are divided into a four types. Now, inner classes can be divided into the four different ways. There is normal or regular inner classes, method local inner classes, anonymous inner classes, and static nested in nested classes. These are the different types of inner classes. Thank you so much watching this video. Hope this lesson helpful to you. 
Keep watching our lessons. Keep writing to us. Do not forget subscribe our channel Sadot Learning Hub because we have many sessions that would help you to develop our skills and I will be back soon till then you take care bye bye.